We're going to take a look now at thinking and learning grids. So this is an example of a self-testing technique. So what you can do is create a six by six grid and use your notes, your textbook and your revision guide to identify any keywords, themes or ideas to fill in that grid for a topic. This particular example contains exam questions and examiner boxes. Um, that is completely optional for these grids. If you were to land on a green box or a question mark box, the green box would be marking a question and the question mark box would be answering a question. So this grid here has given you the opportunity to be answering exam questions as well. But if you're making your own, you do not need to include the examiner and question questions. It depends on whether you want to incorporate some past paper practice into this activity as well. So once you've created a grid that may or may not look like the one there, um, you then need to roll a dice. If you don't have dice, then you can use um, a dice app on your phone or random number generator on your calculator between the numbers one and six. So if you roll your dice, you then get your first set of coordinates. So let's say we rolled um, four one, and that corresponds to deforestation. And so deforestation, we know that's about cutting down trees, and we know that trees um, photosynthesize; they remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, and by doing photosynthesis, they release oxygen. So we then roll our dice again, and we end up, and we end up getting one six, and this is fossil fuels. And we know that fossil fuels, they are formed over millions of years from dead organisms, which have had a lot of pressure and heat applied to it underneath the um, Earth's surface. And that we use this for a lot of things. So crude oil is an example. And from that, we get a lot of our fuels, such as petrol, diesel, kerosene, etc. So the link between deforestation and fossil fuels. So we could talk about the combustion of fossil fuels in that our combustion of fossil fuels increases the amount of CO2 in the atmosphere and so what we can do, so combustion of fossil fuels increases our amount of CO2 but as does our deforestation because if we are cutting down more trees, we're not removing as much carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and therefore both of these have an increased amount of CO2. We could try this with some more words. So let's say we roll a 6-2. So this is argon. This is one of our gases in the atmosphere. Um, it's a noble gas and so it's quite unreactive. And then we could roll a 2-6. And we get nitrogen, and nitrogen is our most populous gas in the atmosphere, about 80%. So both of these gases are atmospheric gases. And actually, both of these gases are very unreactive. So both argon and nitrogen can be used to create an inert environment because they are both so unreactive. And you can keep on doing this, so rolling the dice and making those links between the different key terms or themes.